Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hey, whenever you're watching it, we just thank you for watching. I am Gordon with the YouTube channel This Is How I Did It. This video today we are talking about water wheel gearing, um, the pulley setup for our water wheel. We have a seven and a half foot tall water wheel and it has a five and a half foot tall or diameter pulley on the water wheel. So this is basically this video is us showing us multiple configurations of different size pulleys we're using to try to get the rotations for our generator to produce some power. Um, we need about 950 ish um, RPMs, rotations per minute on that generator to produce our 48 volts. And we're going to feed it back in. Eventually we're going to feed it back in um, up to the house and into our solar system. Um, to the inverter and, and get some um, charging on those batteries at night. Um, anyway, this is all that is. We got I don't know five or six configurations of different size pulleys and how you know how what the rotation and the, and the gear ratio is as we do it. We figure it all out for you in each each se segment. Anyway, guys, let's get on with. It. If you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, share it, do whatever you want to do. Anyway, guys, let's get on with it. Thanks. Hey, welcome to the channel. It's This is how I did it. I'm Gordon. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button. So we got one of our drive systems all built um, on the PMG here. So on the big reel, that is a five and a half foot pulley on the seven and a half foot uh, water wheel. Which goes down to this smaller pulley, which I believe is a 40 millimeter. That one right there. So that gives me a 23 to 1. So every one time this wheel rotates around, that rotates, this wheel rotates 23 times. Okay. And then every time this rotates one time, this rotates four. So that gives me a 96 every time that spins one time. This one on this lower piece, which is also, I think, a probably a 50 millimeter down here. In the bottom I think that gives this 96 to 1 ratio so that spins one time this spins 96 times on this ratio so if I give it a little spin just do it by hand here this is hardly that would be probably that speed there well you saw how slow that was so yeah, it's been fairly easy. Anyway, 96 to 1, and that uh, we're going to put another generator on it. We don't have the water flume built yet, which is going to go up the creek side there. Anyway, kind of getting excited, getting closer and closer. Thanks for watching. So guys, in this full first setup we had with the 2.5 inch um, pulley down that comes off right off the wheel, it was just too much to turn that sucker. Um, I don't know that the water would actually create what we wanted there. So I'm going to say no to that one. We're going to go on and look at the next one. A five and a half foot pulley on the wheel. Okay, and, and guys, it's August, so there's hardly any water running in our creek. It might be, might be five, seven gallons a minute is all. And I got to do a little balancing on that wheel. But we have a five and a half foot rim so you gotta remember these this wheel is made out of seven and a half foot tall um, cable reels and then um, a five and a half foot cable reel edge here for the pulley and it's going down here to a um, I believe that to be a six inch pulley I don't know why we died there I believe that to be a six inch pulley and uh, which is giving us Nine to one. So every time this wheel rotates one wheel, one one round, this rotates this pulley, the shaft rotates nine times, about nine and a half times, and then this twelve inch pulley goes down here to a. I'm guessing this to be a three inch here, which is giving us um, well nine times. And that is that is um, four times. So this is nine times the wheel. This is four more times. So nine times four would be uh, 36, 36 rotations on this shaft for every rotation that wheel goes. And in the summer, it's hardly moving, obviously. But in the winter, we have a four-inch line that's going to feed it. 
And in the winter, this creek runs really, really quite well. Um, probably about 120 gallons a minute, 150 gallons a minute. So we'll have plenty of water in the winter, which is when we need the power. So right now it's been in about five rotations with hardly any water. About five rotations a minute. So right now it would be five times uh, 36. So what's that work out to? So five times 30 would be 150. So right now it's probably about 180 rotations a minute, which is not going to create anything. All right, guys. Gearing setup. I think number three, four. So five and a half inch, 66 inch diameter pulley on the wheel. Seven inch outside edge pulley here to a 12 inch pulley here down to a three inch. Actually, that might be a two inch. Way too small. Back to a 12 and back to a three. That's a two, so that's that two is way too small. It needs to be probably a four or another six. So basically, with this, there's no way that water's going to turn this wheel, and I got to really, it's just not going to work. So that <clears throat> that pulley's got to come off and become probably a another six or a four. But with this ratio, you're probably at, well, you got nine rotations per one here. You got nine on this. So that puts you at nine here down to a three. So that 12 by four. So that would be 36 rotations there. 36 here down to a three. So 36 times four. So you're at uh, about 150 rotations roughly per one rotation of that, which is way too much. I'm figuring I can get this about 10 to 12 rotations a minute. So if I, I think I switch out that two inch, order another six inch and see what we get. Cause that would be, if that was six, that'd be nine there. Transfer nine to that. Down to a six would be times two, that'd be 18. Then to a 12 here. So you're just going 18 times on this one. And then up to a three, so times four. Um, so you're at about 76 rotations per minute for that. Or I mean, 76 rotations per rotation here. So that would give me about 800 rotations a minute. 760 rotations a minute. If I got 10 out of that. I just don't know if water flow would be enough to turn that off we'll just we'll have to order a six and just see what our pressure is against that because i you know there's not even a load on it right now and i can't even hardly manually move it so that one's a fail all right guys take number i don't know five okay five and a half foot reel down to a six inch pulley up to a 12 inch pulley down to a four inch pulley, back to a 12, up to the, I think that's a three inch on that, I think. Yeah, that's a three inch, which gives me, for every one rotation on this water wheel, it gives me 103 rotations on this. Now, when the winter comes, we actually have the water flow that we need. We'll see if it actually will turn this damn thing. Um, yeah, it might. We'll have to see. Just, I mean, right now we got maybe 15 gallons a minute all in the creek. So we'll go ahead and turn it on and see what we get. Go up here and put flip the old hose up into the trough. And see if it actually has anything on 15 gallons. I'm pretty sure it will not. I mean, it's barely running. And the creek is pretty much dribbling. So it's all going in this pipe. So like I said, that's about 15 gallons a minute. Let's lay the old pipe down in the slot. And let the water run. Run on down to the wheel. Like I said, that's a four inch pipe coming down from the creek. I have it dammed up in the, uh, up in the top. Well, let's just run you up there and show you the culvert. So you walk up this creek, it's 
about a hundred feet of um, that flex pipe, four inch flex pipe that goes up this creek. You hear it running through it. So there's a little bit of water in the creek running, but not a lot. It basically goes up. Take a couple steps here. So up here on the top of the, at this culvert, I took a garbage bag. It's actually a pop can bag. I cut a hole in it, put the pipe through through the, the actual bag. So I just cut a, an, an X in the bag with a pair of scissors or whatever. Put the pipe through this green bag about four inches from the bottom. And I put it in the, the culvert and then I just poured dry concrete in it and then doubled some water in it to harden it up. So that water is forced. Like I said, it's hardly running. That water is forced to go in this pipe. A little bit drizzling out around the bottom because it's, you know, just it is what it is. But in the winter, it'll flow over the top of that. And the four inch pipe will catch it. So that four inch pipe in the winter will be plumb full, I'm thinking. Because this will probably run, I don't know. This creek's probably, well, the, the bottom of the pond, our pond, has a 10 inch culvert, two or three four inch culverts that feed the waterfall, and some flexible three inch pipes that go down and feed around the, the boulders in the waterfall, down below the pond, you know, to disperse the water through the waterfall. And it overflows, so I'm guessing this creek that was pretty good. Well, I know it has really good flow in the winter. Anyway, so yeah, as you can see, water's running down there, but that wheel ain't moving. So I probably might have to take the four inch that I put on there, pull that off, that four inch uh, pulley. Probably put a six inch pulley there to get this thing moving. You can see how that's turning and burning and of course it, yeah there's not enough water to keep it flowing let it fill up again there's not enough water but you can see yeah, that's barely moving that's moving pretty good but yeah I think a six inch is my goal here so a six inch to a twelve a six to a twelve and back to a three it's probably gonna be our trick if if we don't have enough water current in the uh, winter I'd like for this wheel to turn about 10 to 12 times a minute to get us our rotation here. I'm going to go ahead and pop this pulley off right here. I'm going to pop this off and just let it run without the uh, motor. If I can. Yep, right there. Okay, so now it's off of the motor. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's moving pretty good. So I had a I had a two inch on there before, which it didn't move at all. Even like this, it was like a struggle. And then that now is a four inch. We'll pop that off and put another six inch like that one. I bet that'll give us to where that thing moves all the time. So, anyway. I have a fun project. I'm just really hoping it actually produces some produces some electricity for us. It hasn't been too much money. The most money we've spent is for this 1600 watt generator. But everything else, I might have maybe $800 into this. Just all this little lumber was stuff I already had. Then $100 for that pipe up there. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Have a good day. Hey there, I just want to chime in one more time. Um, so the that last little video I had there, um, yeah, there was no there was no load on the motor. The motor was hooked up, but there was no load on it. So you put a load on it, it's going to slow down even more. Um, and that was 103 rotations per water wheel rotation, um, which I don't need quite that much, but it'd be nice to be up around there, but I don't need quite that much. So I think I am going to go with uh, six off the water wheel. So the first pulley would be a six, then jump to a 12, Come down with the pulley down to another six, 
back to a 12 and then down to the 3 on the on the motor itself. I think that's going to be what I'm going to go for, and I'm thinking that would be around 88, I think-ish, 90 rotations per water wheel rotation. And then if I can get 10 rotations a minute out of the water wheel, then I'm right there where I need to be for um, um, creating some power with that generator. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Have a great day.